So this is what time is it back? Five twenty four. So good afternoon. Still it's not evening, but I'm making a video because I am like it's hard to express how I feel right now. But I can tell you how Bay feel. Bay right now is feeling mad, pissed, depressed, and everything. Um, he's not in this video at the moment because um, he's in the room. And it's due to his chair just went down today. So for those who know, like when you're in a wheelchair, a mobilized wheelchair, um, not like a hover round, not like a um, manual wheelchair, but when you're in an actual electric wheelchair, like and your life depends on this wheelchair to get around from A to Z, then you understand how Bay feels right now. So Bay got up usual. Um, you know, I got up this morning to cook breakfast, cleaning everything and stuff like that. And he was cleaning as well, like straight off his little table and stuff. When I just hear him, I hear him, um, yell. So I'm asking him, what's wrong? What's wrong? He's not responding. So, you know, ask me, I go check to see what's wrong. Just in case it's nothing physical to where we got a call. Now I or anything. I proceed to the nearest emergency room. So... Um, Bay said he's not moving. So in my head, I'm thinking like, not thinking of his chair when he said he's not moving. I'm thinking like, okay, did your, um, cause he's a quad police. So I'm like, okay, what you mean you're not moving? Like, can you not move your head now? Because you're being a quad police. You're able to move your arms and stuff like that. Like, are you not able to move your arms? There's something going on. Like, is it something health wise? Like when he said, I'm not moving. So I'm scared. I'm panicking. I'm like, so what do you mean you're not moving? But then he said, my chair. So when he says his chair, and he had already called the chair company because he just got two new motors placed in his chair like two weeks ago. Like sometime this week, maybe like three weeks since he had these two new motors. So since he got the new motors, his chair has been making this weird noise. So he called to let them know, hey, my chair making this noise there since y'all put this new motor in because he already know because um, this month on the 30th of March, 13 years of baby uh, since his accident, which left him confined to his wheelchair and placed him as a, uh, diagnosed him as a quadriplegic from his accident. So this year, the th I mean, this month on the 30th makes 13 years since Bay accident. Um, so he, again, he called the insurance company ahead of time, explained to them his, what his chair doing just for them to come out and everything ahead of time because he know the process. So, me and Bay only been together, for those of you who don't know, two years and some months. So, um, I'm new to the whole interable couple thing, the whole day to quadriplegic. But since day one, I have learned a lot. But like I said, that's another story. And uh, we didn't deal with ups and downs, but this is not the first rodeo of Bay chair go down. It seems like every single year, at least once a year, his chair go down. And when his chair go down, for those y'all who know who's in a chair who knows, when his chair go down, it is like about two months until the chair get fixed. So two months he is like confined in the house basically because he does not have. Um, well, he had a uh, what is it, babe? A manual chair. So he did. Ha he had one of when he first got an accident, but um, it was one of those titanium ones. Like his grandma had bought it for me first got an accident, but. Again, you need to have someone practice that with you of how to use it because he had to, like, roll it. But anyways, we, he did have one of those. But again, that's down. He had not been using that since. Babe, have you ever used the chair? Your manual one? No, because I had to get paper out of pocket. So he stated that he hasn't used the chair. Even though his grandma paid cash and bought the chair straight out, which the chair wasn't cheap. He needed some adjustment done, so but his insurance won't cover it, so he had to pay out of pocket for it. Like I said, a lot of these channels that we watch and stuff, like it's all about financial. Like you gotta have the monies and the means to even get the gadgets, the gadgets, things like that. So they don't. So, um, anyways, also uh, to get back to the story, they so the chairs are sitting there collecting dust, whatever, because needed fixing. So he never really actually been able to use manual chair and since me dating him has not been uh you know the manual chair just sits there. But anyway, so so when base chair go down, basically he's stuck, y'all. Basically he just fuck he just stuck in the house like 
can't do anything, can't go anywhere. Like literally, like you already have to rely on A and rely on somebody and be dependent on someone. But now it makes the dependency even more dependent on that person because now you're not just, hey, get me out the bed, put me in the bed, his basic routines, things like that. So now it's like Bay actually needs this person to actually help more things like actually um preparing like cooking food or I mean like well basically they we mostly do the cooking and stuff for him he would like try to cook certain little things you know don't like him on the stove cooking that's another story um because i can tell y'all about that reason why um of him burning himself but anyway another story but anyway so now it's like he had to depend on his a or me the kids the like actually warm his food up um actually bring him a bottle of water out the fridge when he could easily had a win in the fridge himself and got him a bottle of water or got him some juice or anything out of it. So now he had to depend on someone to actually physically bring these things to him that he was used to depend, like doing on his own independently. So now it's like, uh, now he has, instead of him going to the bathroom himself and washing his face and brushing his teeth, he now have to rely on someone to actually bring him a basin and his rag, you know, his, give him his rag and his toothbrush and everything and a bottle of water. So him to actually like wash his face on his own and still have some and brush his teeth to have that dependency, but still depend on someone to gather things to bring to him when he was used to going and doing it on his own. So now it's like he can't just go to the back door. He can't just go outside to get fresh air without somebody actually pushing him manual in the manual setting on his chair, pushing him like to go outside to actually just sit when it's a nice day. Because like I said, when his chair go down, it's two months, y'all. Two months of Bay literally have his uh, dependency, the little dependency that he have gone out the window. And you, that's like really depressing. And it gets depressing for me to like, sometimes, you know, I get sad as well because it's like, to see the person that I love has to go through this. And it's like, he go through this every year, but he stay, it's the process of the insurance company. It's the process of the company that fixes his chair. They come out, they assess his chair. They see what's going on. They write up what's going on. Then they let him know, hey, I got to submit this to the insurance company so that the insurance company can pay for the parts or and things like that. And then after the insurance company pays for the parts, the insurance company might need a diagnosis code from the doctor just saying like, hey, why do he need this chair? Is this something that happens every year? So why don't y'all not see why he needs a chair? He's confined to a chair. He's a quadriplegic. He cannot move. His life depends on this chair. So then it's Bay contacting everybody at least every other, almost about three days uh, in between. Every three days he contacted to see, hey, what's the process? They could be like, oh, you're do waiting on your doctor. Or, oh, we got all the information. We just not went on the insurance company. So now it's him trying to figure out, okay, wait for the insurance company to prove it and all this stuff. So then after they approve, he now got away from the order of the parts. You don't know how long it takes for the parts to even ship to the company. And then from there, you also got to schedule a date. The um, They got to figure out a date and when they could come out because they could be booked for the whole month of like just fixing chairs. So now you got to wait for them. They'll be like, oh, it won't be after going the month process. They'll be like, oh, three weeks. We can come out in three weeks after getting everything done to fix your chair. So now you just stuck. You're just sitting there. And it, and it's sad. And it, it, and it sucks how these insurance companies operate for people that's in chairs. Like, I didn't know nothing about this. Like I say, I didn't understand his pain until actually dating Bay. Like, Bay literally had to stop going to therapy. So, Bay done made all these appointments. I mean, all the points he needed to make from therapy to um, getting back with the spinal cord doctor. Like, all the appointments he need to actually, you know, to actually get back into... What is it called, Bay? Like the like the things that he need. Like I, I can't think right now, y'all. I'm like so discombobulated right now because I'm so pissed. Cause it's Saturday, y'all. No, mostly me and Bay might go to the bar and have a drink and, and eat wings and stuff. But it's like with a chair down, we can't do that. We don't have like, and we go to the bars just close by because again, we don't have wheelchair accessible van because the price of the wheelchair accessible vans is ridiculous. I'm sorry to say it is ridiculous. That is why we cannot afford a wheelchair accessible van. That's why. When we go places, if I would catch the bus with Bay, I would ride the pair of treasure with Bay. I would ride one of those mobile vans if you got to set up the ride. But ain't no shame, my guy. Like, however it takes for us to get there and us to enjoy ourselves, we getting there. So, but it's like, it's ridiculous. It's fucking heartbreaking 
Like for people, for um, uh, for quiet police, people's in wheelchair just go through this. Like I'm so fucking pissed. Like it's ridiculous. Like I really wish I had the means. I mean, my own company. Like it just be a company to where it's like you could rent a rent a uh, van, like or whatever. If I had the chairs, it wouldn't be supposed to, like be about renting. I feel like it'd just be there to help those. Like okay, like when Bay got appointments coming up, he got knock out to all these appointments, and now. Book him out too much for now and say he'll call back. He had to stop going to physical therapy because his chair went down last year. Now that he finally got, you know, his chair was up and running. Now he's like, okay, I'm going to get back in therapy. The snow gone because he can't travel in the snow because he do not have an all-terrain wheelchair. So when it's raining, snowing, hell, and things like that, if it ain't dry outside, they can't get anywhere. He can't go anywhere again. The weather confines it to the house as well, so the pressure set in. Um, So it's like now that he made these appointments, now... He can't go to therapy again now because it's chair down again. So now he wondering like what therapy thing is he lying? Why he making these appointments? Then eventually you know how uh, hospitals and doctors offices you do so many no shows or so many appointments you can't make it. They start pushing you back to the back burner. Even they might have a sooner opening. Even though they might get squeeze you in, but they feel like oh you're not reliable to come to these appointments. So we're not even about to waste our time trying to book you into something that you might not even show for. We are gonna get to somebody else that's going to come. So it's like. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, and it's like he's in the room now. Like, and I asked him, like, do you want to come in the living room? We watch TV. We hang out here and stuff like that. But he's stated no because he don't want it to be depending on me to manually push him from one room of the house to the next. But I don't have a problem with it. But it's like just to see, like, it's just sad. It's just, it's just pisses me off. And it's like, all these YouTubers that we do watch, it's like, it gives you hope for the future, but it's like, what about now? What about today? I understand, okay, we could travel, and yes, we're, you know, we can do things being in, uh, confined to a chair, but what about the ones now? Like, y'all don't show, like, how the chairs go down, and it's because it's like, y'all have the money and the means, your chair go down, you got a backup chair. You probably got two, three backup chairs. You probably got, like how people have multiple cars, you know, just to have a backup. People in chairs don't. Like, that's just like me. Like, then my car went down. I don't have a backup car, so it's getting on the bus. Your next uh, uh, thing you have to do, which is catching the bus, Uber, whatever, Lyft, or whatever, to get to where you need to get to. And like I said, Bay, when his chair go down, he can't get on the pair of tracks. He can't do anything because it's not their job to mainly push him. Like, his A can push him, but... His A really don't have to because it's not in his job description. That's the thing. They don't have to mainly push you in a 300-pound chair and plus with your weight limit on top of that. They don't have to push you if they don't, you know what I'm saying? Because now it's like you have to throw out your back and all the pulling and pushing and back and forth like that your chair will make it easy. It's like, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry to be cussing, but I'm pissed. I'm hurt. And like I said, it's even more hurtful for Bay because like I said, this is this year, uh, month. On the 30th of May, 13 years since they been confined to this chair since his accident. And it's just ridiculous how these insurance companies did. And it's like, some might agree, some might not. But me being with Bay, it's like, it's ridiculous, y'all. It's like straight ridiculous. Like, I feel like if he been confined to this chair, you know what his uh, diagnosis is. Y'all know he's in this chair for like for the rest of his life. So why not just fix his chair? Why make his depression even more depressed? Like, y'all don't understand why some people in the chair feel like they'd rather just be dead than to actually be confined to this chair. Like y'all don't under like they, the sure y'all don't get it. And it's like most people won't get it until it's them. But it's like have empathy. Think about them. Like, come on now. Like I see people out here in chairs that's like you can tell that they put me in a manual chair, but they in these regular chairs pushing themselves. No leg or just, you know, pushing themselves on their own because maybe because their chair went down. So now they left with this manual chair, but they still want that dependency. It's like these insurance companies is stricken people from their dependency when they're in these chairs because it's like they don't have they don't have backup chairs. And it's like, and then you get these chairs. You can find these chairs for, what, three to five years, depending on the company you went through and got these chairs from. So, Bay left what? What you got, Bay? Like, another two years on your chair? Yeah, yeah, about two years, year and a half. 
so he got about two, two and a half years left on this chair. So this chair been giving him problems like for the last, since he had the chair every year, the chair going down. So it's like, instead of showing come like, hey, okay, Miss Nina, we just gonna go ahead and switch you out and get you a new chair. Blah, J, skip, da, da, da. No, y'all just wanna keep fixing it because it's cheaper for y'all just to fix this chair than actually give him a whole new chair. So it's like, it's ridiculous. And it's like, it's heartbreaking, it's sad. It's like, for his chair to go down, it's like, now you can find to a house. And it's like, one spot, just like, and it's like, can't do fucking nothing. Like, it's our, it's like, they said it's worse than like, it feel like being in prison and being on, um, what they call it, in the hole. Like, you can find like 24 hours of in-house and you probably get an hour outside. But the only thing is, they ain't getting that hour outside because it's like, he's literally depending on somebody 24 7 7 days a week until his chair get fixed and the little dependency that he had is snatched from him it's like bad enough life to snatch his life from him being able to walk but now it's like you just snatch every little like hope that he had for the next two months just in this depression state to where it's like it's hard for anybody to talk to him or hey or ask like how you doing like you can't ask me how was your day like, how you ask somebody that when they stuck in the house and they stuck in this one spot? Like, what do you mean, how's my day? Do you really want to tell you how my day was? And then that's when the yelling, the screaming, the throwing and stuff like that might just come out of nowhere. Like, but it's just, y'all, I just had to come over here and just vent because it's ridiculous. It's like really fucking ridiculous how these insurance companies operate when it comes to people, um, people that's confined to wheelchairs for the rest of their life when their chair go down. It is just like really, really sickening. And it's like, like I said, Bay can't get to appointments because he has nobody now to push him. And now we got to wait and see how long it's going to actually take this insurance company to come out and fix his chair. It's depressing. And it's just, it's just really depressing, y'all. It's just, it's just sad. And like I said, me and Bay channel, we, our channel, again, is going to be about all different types of things. Like, we're not giving you one content on this page. It's multiple things. Um, and it's, it's real, y'all. Like, everything we post on here is real. Like, we ain't sugarcoat nothing. We ain't making something sound good, look good. We give y'all exactly how it is. Like, like I say, I got stories to tell y'all from when me and Bay first met, from me almost killing Bay, to um, Bay get, like, New Year's Eve when Bay sent us to the mercy the next day. Like, Yo, I got the footage for that too. Like, y'all won't believe the stuff. Like, I'm gonna post the video and have everybody subscribe for that for that I could do the story time. But I'm trying to be able to do story time live for everybody. But if I have to do story time like this for now, then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do our story time just recording it. And especially with baby being confined to the house. And I'm trying to get Bay to actually while I'm at work to actually go on to YouTube and just sit here since you know he'd just be here and just talk to y'all and get y'all some content and you know get him y'all life experience and things because I can't speak on his life y'all I only can speak on what I've been through with him as dating him anything that's before us I can't speak on it only Bay can get y'all that information I can get y'all what I heard but like I say it's best if it comes from the source versus then just me but um uh, we just want to tell y'all about everything, like everything we do from our routines. Uh, they're not daily. We're not going to say daily routine because they're not daily routines because routines are broken. You know what I'm saying? Because you get tired of doing the same thing every single day. So, you know, we ain't calling them daily routines because we see a lot of people that post stuff and it's, they call it daily routines. But when we watch it, we like, ain't no way. With they be in the quad, ain't, they, ain't no way y'all doing this every single day. Because, like, babe. Ain't, it, it's certain things you be like, them showers and all that stuff you have to do, shower time, uh, nighttime routines, are switches up, like, are different day to day, like, it's all depending on how you're feeling, if we got something to do, and it's like.